Hello world, my name is Paul with the Backyard Hibachi. Today, I'm going to be showing you three must-know tricks for hibachi. Welcome to Hibachi Tricks 101. Today, in this video, I wanted to show you guys three basic hibachi tricks. These are the first three essential tricks that you have to learn while you're in training. Let's go. The first trick we're going to learn is the spatula spin. The spatula spin is pretty simple once you get it down there's a couple of setups that you have to do with the spatula but after you get it down you'll be spinning like a pro so there's a couple things that you need to do with the spatula before you start spinning them first one is because the weighting the way these are weighted the best brand would be the Dexter brand and I'll have some links in the description below where you can find those the second thing is you're gonna have to cut the wood on the spatula down a little bit so your finger fits this way you know your finger fits inside and while you're while you're spinning the spatula, the momentum will, will allow it to spin around your finger. Practice spinning just once and then catching. Once, catch, catch. And then after that, it's really all about timing and tempo. Right, trick number two in the Hibachi 101 is the egg tricks. Egg trick is also fairly simple once you get uh, the right rhythm and once your spatula kind of becomes a, an extension of your, your hand. First off, you grab a lemon. When you throw the lemon, when you catch, you kind of want to cradle. Like so. It's the same with the egg. You, know, you want to cradle the egg when you catch. It's the same with the spatula. You want to cradle the egg. There's a couple of training eggs that you can use to start out with. One is the golf ball. This is a pretty popular one. You pretty much kind of with the golf ball until it doesn't make any any noise so if you're hearing like this that, that means you broke the egg so nice soft taps with the golf ball the second one this is my favorite is the the lemon when i learned how to do the egg tricks uh, i learned with the lemon the lemon is so asymmetrical that it's a little bit harder to play than the egg so what you want to do is just kind of play and then same like the the golf ball so once you get a little more advanced with your egg tricks, you know, you can juggle and then you can start adding different tricks, different tricks to your arsenal. The third uh, basic hibachi tricks would be the salt and pepper shakers. These are some of our favorites because while you're cooking, you can still give your customers a nice show. So versatile and how many tricks that you can do with them. They're easy to catch. You can control the weighting. So the first trick we're going to learn with these is the shake. And the shake is it's pretty simple. It's uh, kind of lay your, your spatula vertical and then right up against your shaker and you kind of hit like so. And you'll hear that sound a bunch at hibachi restaurants. Uh, once you got this down, like spreading the pepper, spreading the salt. Uh, pro tip, whenever you do salt, you really want to go high. That way you can see the salt dripping. And then whenever you do the pepper, you want to go low because you don't want the pepper to get out into the air, into the steam, and then it goes all over the restaurant and people start sneezing and coughing. And before I forget, I uh, really want to give a huge shout out to uh, everybody that subscribed, commented, liked the video. Really appreciate you guys' support. Uh, anything that you guys want to learn, see, recipes, anything like that, you guys just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to respond. And that was Hibachi Tricks 101. See you guys next time.